Hi everyone, thank you so much for cheering me on throughout life on social media or in real life in person. I wanted to share a big fat update, catch you up, and then I have to ask for help, <laughs> which is already hard, so. <laughs> I wanted to do my best and I wish I could ask each and every one of you in person because I have the utmost respect for anybody following this journey, but I can't, so. <laughs> so let me catch you up. In October of 2021, last year, I, in September, I found a lump in my breast. In October, it was confirmed to be cancer. Stage one, invasive ductal carcinoma. And through many tests and results, I elected to have a bilateral mastectomy to help take care of this problem. In November, Jacob and I went through a round of IVF because there's a lot of damage that cancer treatments and medication can cause and we wanted a really good shot at having healthy children and a healthy family in the future. In December, I had the surgery to remove the eggs and we are happy to report that we have at least a handful of healthy embryos waiting for us in the future. In January this month, I had the bilateral mastectomy and I'm still recovering from it right now. So now we're all caught up. After my surgery, my doctors told me that a few things. One, all the margins were clear, which means that my entire left breast cancer-free, my right breast, I think they thought there were three spots with cancer and they were right. So they got those, the rest of the breast clear. And then they suspected cancer in the lymph nodes and unfortunately they were right. They took 26 from me, that's a lot. And um, unfortunately one was positive. If you're like me and knew nothing about science or the body or cancer before this, let me uh, cue you in. Lymph nodes are really important to the human body because they move important and helpful lymphatic fluid throughout us that helps fight infection and disease. That's their number one thing. And unfortunately, cancer present in a lymph node means that that's evidence of the cancer traveling. They don't technically know whether it has or not because no body scan or test exists to this day to prove that somebody is completely cancer free. Due to this and my young age, I am in for it. The four course full cancer meal, surgery, chemo, radiation, and a multi-year medication called tamoxifen. I remember sitting in my first checkup after the bilateral mastectomy with my mom in pain, not happy about this. I liked my boobs. I did not want new ones thinking this better be enough. Like this better be enough. And unfortunately it's not, it's not enough. And I don't get a break next week. Well, whenever I put this video out there, whatever, I have a small surgery to put a port um, right about here actually. So I can have chemo and not be stuck multiple times. They just stick it in the same spot. And with chemo, I will have eight rounds, AKA eight appointments every other week, which is comes out to four weeks of hell. I will face the quote red devil, which I fully plan on using my little marketing mind and rebranding because why on earth do we need more negativity in the cancer world? I don't know. And I mean, I don't even have to say it, but if cancer is the number one big C scary word, chemo is number two, two, number two. Everyone reacts differently, but the side effects go on for days. The list is so long. And of course it includes hair loss. And I'm doing my best to stay present because there's a small percentage of people who don't lose their hair but I'm not naive enough to not prepare myself for the worst. And after those four months, I will have radiation for 25 session, which comes out to like a month and a half, maybe two months. I wanted to catch you up and thank you for watching this because I truly have been so supported. It's been unreal. And asking for help for anyone is hard. And that includes me, but um, I've had friends and family encourage me and advise me to continue asking for help, especially through these next two chapters, which are going to be hard. So 
I've, I've come up with three things. You can sign up in the link in the description of this video for my meal train, which will help me get homemade meals or donated meals from you while I'm fatigued, tired, have bone aches, whatever hell is coming my way. Um, it just helps me take care of one less, you know, thing that we have to do to be a human, which is eat. You can donate directly to me through Venmo or my Chase account. That's also in my the description. I'm choosing not to do meal train or GoFundMe because they do take significant fees. And if you are kind enough, generous enough, incredible enough to give me anything, I want it to be used 110% for the right reasons. And finally, everybody's means of giving are different. So this one's 100% free, but as you know, I've built this whole world of facing fear through a podcast and a website and merch and many other things. And so if you'd like to help in a way that costs you nothing, takes you two seconds, I would ask that you share the podcast. I have documented my cancer journey, not only for myself to give myself a little self therapy, but also for many others out there. It's been so incredible for me to go on social media and find all these other people and to hear their stories. So I wanna pass that on because if I'm gonna be in this fight, then I'm going to do the best I can to help somebody else. You can share the podcast by texting an episode to a friend, posting it on your social media. You never know who knows who. So I would, I would love that. Thank you so much for listening and watching this. I had some notes over here because I wanted to get it just right. I'm putting that into the universe now and praying to God that this will be the one time I face and fight cancer. So I'm going to give it hell and your help helps so much. So thank you so much and um, I love you all.